G'day guys, Jake here. Today I'm going to be running you through Microsoft's Universal Print, which is a cloud-based print solution. So typically what we've had in the past, or what we've always done, as far as I know, what I've always done, is install a print server or install your printer drivers on a server and then share them out from there. So with the world moving to serverless architecture and all of that sort of stuff, um, Microsoft's come out with a cloud print server basically. So it is a print server as a service. You can deploy your printers through here. Some things you do need though is you need Active uh, Azure Active Directory. You need uh, a Microsoft 360 plan that supports Microsoft Universal Print. So it is rolling out to plans at the moment. At the moment I think it's um, available for some of the enterprise plans and also for some of the education plans. What I've got here is a test uh, demo setup of Microsoft 365 Education. So it has the functionality of Universal Print. Um, we still do need to add the license, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. But yeah, so basically let's get into it. What we're gonna do is take you start to finish installing the Microsoft Universal Print and deploying a printer. So one of the things to note here though, is if I, I've got a print driver installed, but it's not actually connected to a printer. So you'll see the print job come up, but it actually won't print out, it won't work because there's no printer on the end of the print driver, but you can see it show up where it needs to. So anyway, let's flick over to the screen and we'll get started. All right, so this is the Microsoft documentation for Microsoft Universal Print. So you can read what is Universal Print, which I'll leave the link to this page down below and you can go through it as you need. But what we're gonna do is onboarding to Universal Print. So we're just gonna run through this page and we're gonna do the steps that are needed for it. So basically what you need to do is in assign the licenses um, there are some prerequisites here, so you need to have a universal print license um, and you need to have the print administrator role and all of that sort of stuff. So let's go to, uh, let's first, what we'll do first is we will actually go in, so this is in our administrator portal. So if we go in here, we need to actually purchase the universal print license, which at the moment it's for free. I don't know if it's always going to be for free, but it is at the moment. So if we go show all and we go to billing, purchase services, give it a moment. All right, so let's search for print. So universal print for education trial. So we're gonna install the trial. This is a one year trial. So like I said, I don't know if they're gonna make this paid at some point or what they're gonna do with it. They'll probably roll it into some of the um, plans and other plans you need to buy it as an extra. So, yep, we're gonna continue. Now when you do that, you need to wait for a while for it to actually work. So what I'm gonna do is assign the licenses to everyone so we can manage the product licenses of all of the users. And we want to add to these users, universal print license. So now those licenses have been added for 46 users, as you can see here. Now, one thing I did notice when I was testing this out was in my main admin user, it didn't sync into the Azure portal for about 24 hours. So what we're gonna do here is just make a new admin user and it will get the, um, the correct permission. So I'll let myself So basically, I'm gonna give this user the universal print, and we're gonna give it admin center access, global admin, and I also, just to make sure, I wanna give this uh, the printer settings as well. So printer admin, printer tech, next, and finish. 
and then we will open a new private window and log in as it into the Azure portal. Uh, grab that part there. So I'm just doing this in a private window because that allows you to sign in as multiple accounts. So then to check the uh, universal print is enabled, you can search for universal print in the Azure search box. Then we go here and if it is enabled, this thing will spin around and it says that. Let me just check inside of my other one. So this is in as my normal administrator. I'm not sure if it's going to be there or not. When I was testing, uh, I didn't have the permissions to actually see the universal print for quite some time, for about 12, 24 hours. It would show up here and say that you don't have it, but I do. So anyway, I didn't even need that temp admin user. So anyway, universal print is here. I have permissions over universal print. You can see it's enabled. Currently, I have no printers. I can check that in here. As you can see, this little spin around is loading. Once it finishes loading, it will stop spinning around. So I've got no printers, and we can also check the connectors. Since I've just done it, I should have no connectors. What a connector is, is an application that runs on premise that passes through your print jobs to your printers. So you don't necessarily need a connector. Some print manufacturers now are coming with Microsoft Universal Print enabled on the device. So the device can connect to the Azure portal and Microsoft Universal Print natively without the need for a connector. At the moment, we're going to use a connector. So we're gonna configure the connector and that's gonna pass through our print jobs through to our printers. So if I just look in here and see my printers that I've got out of that. So at the moment I've installed this Canon generic UFR print driver. It is currently not actually connected to a printer or anything, but I've just got it connected to the COM port. It's just so there is a printer to actually add into Microsoft Universal Print. So if I go back to here and we go to the getting started guide. Basically the first thing is to set up the universal print connector. So to do that, you need to download the application. So down here in the quick start guide, it's got the button here to download the universal print connector installer. So if we just download that, it's quite small and quite easy. You just hit run, it'll download pretty quickly. And then we need to install it. So if you do have a server on-prem, you can do it through there, or you can use a little computer or something that is on-prem to be able to do that. So if we launch the universal print, so you get this message on your first time, the universal print connector now can collect diagnostic data and blah, blah, blah. You can turn it off, but we don't care. So what you need to do is log in with your organization's account so if I just get my details and I will log in. So there we go, now I am logged in. So first we need to register the connector. So um, on-prem connector, register. So what this will do is this will register the connector with the universal print in Azure. So while that's registering, if we go back into connectors and refresh, once it's finished registering, it should show up in that list. 
So here we go, that's registered. If we now refresh inside of here, you can see I've got my on-prem connector there. So I can click in it, I can see the host name that it's running on and some other little info like the OS version and stuff. And we'll go back to here, go to the printers tab. So now we've got um, the printers that are registered will show up on the left. So they're the printers that are available inside of Microsoft Universal Print. Um, and on the right, we've got the available printers. So to load them in, to make them available on the cloud, it's quite easy, you just tick them and click register. It will then go through and it will load them in. So it'll do them one at a time. So once the printers are registered, they show up here. You can click them and collect the printer diagnostics or collect connector diagnostics. Yeah, so that'll just do its thing in the background. So now this universal print connector will run and will pass through print jobs. So to actually share the printers, what we need to do is go in here. By default, they will load in, but they're not available. So you can see here that they are not shared. So what we can do is go into the printer and we then select share printer. We can give it a printer share name. So Canon on-prem copier, for example. Oh, it can't have spaces, I don't think. There we go, so no spaces are allowed. And we click share printer. Up the top right, it will show you the progress bar. Once it's finished, we can now see that the shared printer is shared. It's got a shared printer name. So something to be aware of as well is the shared printer, while it is shared, nobody currently has permissions to see it. So we need to apply permissions so users have the ability to add the printers. So what we can do here is go into members. So the members are the people who add have the ability. So in here, if we add in the member for the printer and the system administrator, because that's who I'm using as my test, we go select and now the system administrator user is added to the printer. So we can also see if there's any print jobs or what the print jobs have been. Currently, there is no print jobs. So what I'll do now is I'll flick over to the client virtual machine, which is here. So I'm currently logged off. This virtual machine is joined to Azure Active Directory. You need to be joined to Azure Active Directory for Microsoft Universal Print to work. So to add in, the uh, printer, we go into printers and scanners. So you can see here my current printers and scanners, that one does not show up. But what we can do is click the add printer or scanner button. So this will search the network and will also search the cloud for any universal printers. So you can click search for universal printers, universal print printers, but it should come up anyway. So there's that printer that we made the share on. And what we can do is add the device. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna connect the printer to your computer. So now on my client PC, the printer's installing. What will happen then is when I print to the printer, it will then pass through the print job, through the cloud, down to the connector, and put it through to the on-premise printer. So once that's finished, it shows as ready. And we can scroll down in our list of installed printers. And here we go, the Canon on-prem copier. So if we open the print queue, what we can do here is print a test page. And you'll see now a test page has been sent to the printer. So if I minimize this virtual machine, and what we'll do on here is go see what's printing and nothing is showing there. Let's go refresh here. It says the print job's completed. Oh, what I need to do is if I pause printing on this printer and then I'll send another print job down it. I'll send two. Go back here. There we go, so because the printer's not connected to anything, it just disappeared. But here we go, you can see now, these two test pages have come through that printer through the cloud. So what we can see is if I refresh this, 
we now have two. These ones are stuck in processing because I've paused the print queue. So that's basically it. I've just basically showed you how to set up Microsoft Universal Print, how to set up the printer driver and how to um, print to it. So you can see they've gone into the cloud and they are now sitting there in the printer waiting to come out. So if this was connected to a real printer, the print jobs would be coming out of the printer, but I've paused the print queue, so they are not. Um, some things to be aware of is, yeah, your computer that you're printing from needs to be on Azure Active Directory. This computer here that has the universal print connector does not. So this computer here, I'm just using a local user. This is not connected to Azure AD. It's just running the universal print connector. So you could have the universal print connector running on a really low end desktop, just sitting in the corner that runs as the little print server. And then you can print from anywhere to the copier through the cloud. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and we will see you next time.